Hey everybody, Lone Axiom here. So, got another purchase here to, to show you guys. Went down to my local kind of coin and bill and stamp collection store. It's called AAA Stamp and Coin. And picked up an old 1937 $5 Canadian bill. Now after getting the $1 bill of this series earlier in November for my birthday, it uh, kind of sparked me to try and complete this series. So I went down and took a look at what they had. This one is in relatively rough shape. A lot of creases and bends and the edges are all kind of tattered and and uh, you know it was it was the cheapest one they had and it still cost me quite a bit uh, and my theory is I just need one for my collection. I mean it's not it's, it's not in terrible condition but it's not in the greatest condition. So I picked it up. So that now puts me at having the $1, the $5, the $10, and the $20 bill of these this series. So now I just need the 2, the 50, and the 100. And by some miracle, if I ever got my hand on the $1,000 bill, but I don't see that uh, being very likely. So a couple little fun facts about this bill. On the back of each bill it represents a different allegory. This one represented the electric power. And each bill represented something different. I believe the two dollar represented the agriculture allegory. I think I'm pronouncing that right. All the bills of this series were printed in 1937 on the second of January, but they weren't issued into circulation until about six or seven months later. I believe it was in July, July 27th, June or July 27th of the same year, 1937. Another fun fact, this was the first series of Canadian bills that were bilingual, that had, uh, had English and French on them. Prior to that, bills were printed separate, so they were French bills and they were English bills. This was the first year that saw them combined to just have one bill and make them bilingual. Uh, some bills of this series were printed by the British American Banknote Company and others were printed by the Canadian Banknote Company. So that was pretty neat. And yeah, they this has uh, got a blue color to it and the colors of the bills have actually stayed the same since then, um, our $5 bills are still blue. And it was the only series that had King George VI on it. He uh, didn't uh, didn't stay in, in office or didn't uh, serve for very long. And uh, his daughter took over starting in the 50s. So just one series with him on it. And then it went to Queen Elizabeth II in the next uh, series. All right, there you have it, just a quick little look. If you want uh, some more close-up pics of that, some more information, don't forget to check out my Facebook page. Just type in Lone Axiom and uh, you'll find it. Hope everybody's doing well and gearing up for the holidays. I know I am. And yeah, take it easy and be on the lookout for new videos. All right, see you guys.